This is Taze from the GIS, and this is your host, Edo Rocatello. Let's take a look to what changed in QGIS 3.30. To see what changed, we will use the visual change log that it's available on YouTube and I will skip on the various uh, changes and I'll do some consideration about, the, about that. So let's start. The first one is the breaking change. QJS uh, 3.30 will break the backward compatibility for the projects if they are older than QGIS 3.16 and this is due to the symbology because the XMS structure is quite complex and to keep it word backward compatible is really hard so this compatibility is not guaranteed anymore let's go straight to the, the next change which is the raster map tips and uh, you can actually have a tip while browsing the map for raster data you can define it using html and css and you can do a few function call map to html table map to html dl raster attributes and um, others and this is uh, quite interesting as you can inspect raster without actually having to inspect them manually so let's go again the map to html table and map to html dl are two function call which merge uh, map elements to html table string or definition list respectively they uh, have been done because of the raster map tips okay let's go on you can also have the raster attributes which are the attribute for the layer with the band the value this is not only useful for the raster map tips but for also python programming and everything related to raster data also you can have the layer cursor point which is the last cursor position in the canvas of the map also really useful okay another thing which is really interesting is that you can identify things on map move uh, on mouse move sorry and without clicking to show elevation for instance but also to query things this is really really uh, useful and I would like to um, see what happens if you have a lot of layer here but the actual uh, full trigger is uh, 300 milliseconds so will be not so hard to imagine that its behavior will be good and uh, you can tweak it using the the uh, this control here so it uh, it is really easy to do and function okay another interesting thing is that the validity of the attributes is now shown in the attribute table so there is no more uh, need to inspect uh, each uh, row to find the, mm, the one which is not uh, compliant with the, the validation and the constraint set it will be really interesting to see it in action in the future so let's go on now we have the better um, SLD compatibility and in the past uh, we had a lot of issues when exporting the symbology of QJS into the SLD standard but now it has been really improved SLD is uh, still behind the styling uh, techniques of um, QJS but um, you can work it around if you need next we have the global map shading so you can 
set both the item lighting or the heal shading and you can using you can do it using the point cloud the mesh layers and the raster layers so you can set um, how to combine this information using a method and it is really nice to see it in action as you can see uh, you can actually have a nice shading on the map just using the uh, data source something has been done for the 3d features and limiting the 2d extent of a 3d scene so you can spot on a point and uh, you can also have uh, the shortcuts in the print layouts and you have a shortcut manager available in the uh, print layout so you can improve your workflow in the print manager in print layout manager and about the expression they have added a feature id function which could be useful uh, because in the past Mm, the feed was something a bit was a bit of magic so um, now you have a feature id function to extract the correct id when defined or mm, not if not also you have this feature valid so you can have a mm, feature which is valid in attributes but not in geometry and you can actually check using that here also you, we have uh, the introduction of the of a set of functions x at and uh, y at uh, v at uh, m at uh, instead of using the the old one we have a dollar in front you have metadata meta search uh, with a uh, few key dates added, created, published, revised, superseded, and also you can have the audiovisual multimedia attribute support in the forms and widget, which is really nice. I'll do a, a new video about that for this and you can set actually image audio video or web view if needed another thing really important for data validation is the ability to have the topology rule settings which are activable uh, enabled and can be enabled and disabled by the user you can filter them and it's really useful there are a lot of changes for qjs 3.30 and uh, you can see the actual visual uh, the actual visual change log on YouTube or the text change log in the QGIS website. Okay, so if you are curious about QGIS, I'll keep following this channel. I'll uh, show you a few tips and tricks about QGIS and a few tutorials. So click the subscribe button. Also click the like button if you like this short uh, changelog of QJS 3.30 and thank you for listening.